Okay, so, first of all, sorry about this annoying beeping if you hear it, and the echo. But, this is my thoughts on the WWE 2008 draft. Now, the first pick was for Raw, and it was Rey Mysterio. I kind of thought that he would be going to anywhere. And it would probably be Raw since Raw is a bigger brand than ECW. So, because he hasn't really done anything on SmackDown since about the Royal Rumble, I think. So, that's just what I'm saying. And, um, Triple H went to SmackDown. I didn't think that would happen. So, yeah. And ECW got Matt Hardy, and Matt Hardy was ECW's only pickup of the night. So, I really, I don't think it's, he should have gone to ECW. I think he should have stayed on SmackDown, because he he's a big part of the fan base in SmackDown. He's a big crowd favorite, but now he's another big crowd favorite for ECW, along with Kofi Kingston. CM Punk left, so he is out. Tommy Dreamer, Colin Delaney. And he is also bringing in the United States title to ECW. Now, like I said, CM Punk left ECW, and I knew that was going to happen because he's not going to choose the ECW with the money in the bank. Because the ECW isn't a big, prestigious title. So, I predict at Night of Champions, since Batista, um, fuck it, is on Raw, Batista will lose to Edge, and Triple H went to SmackDown, and so Triple H is going to retain at Night of Champions, but CM Punk will cash in his money in the bank. And Jeff Hardy went to SmackDown. I don't really care about that. But it'll be nice to see him face some easier, but more, but still pretty high class guy. Yeah. And Umaga, the Samoan son of a bitch. Umaga. I'm happy that he went to SmackDown, so now he could probably get more of a push. Maybe be in the contention for the World Heavyweight title. I see him. If Finley and Hornswoggle don't win the Tag Team Championships at Night of Champions, I see Umaga feuding with those two. And good old Jim Ross went to SmackDown, and now he will be the play-by-play -play commentator for SmackDown, along with Mick Foley. And I think that's going to be fucking awesome. Mick Foley and Jim Ross together. So that's going to be pretty cool. And Michael Cole went to Raw and... Jerry, Jerry Lawler will have to carry that commentator team. Because Michael Cole isn't a big guy. He was good on SmackDown, but... And Kane brought the ECW title to Raw. And I don't know what's gonna happen because Big Show is on SmackDown. So, who knows? And Kennedy, Mr. Kennedy, he's, his feud is, I think, unless it's gonna be an interpromotional brand feud with Paul Burchill. But Mr. Kennedy is on SmackDown. <laughs> and I like that. So, that's going to be cool. So, I like how the draft went since I can actually watch SmackDown now because Batista's off of it. And I can watch ECW now because CM Punk will be the whole center of ECW. Rey Mysterio. 
He's. I know not a lot of people aren't gonna like this, but he, his, his best years are behind him. Mm. Triple H, Jeff Hardy, Umaga, Jim Ross, Mr. Kennedy, along with Edge, MVP, like guys like that, you know. Undertaker, everybody knows he's not at the WWE. He's been in house shows. I don't know what's gonna happen at Night of Champions. He might come back at Night of Champions. He might come back at the Great American Bash. And that's the next big review. But so yeah. So this is what I see. CM Punk will win the WWE Championship. Triple H will later then win the World Heavyweight Championship from Edge. Unless Triple H could retain, the WWE Championship will go to SmackDown, and Batista could be Edge, and the World Heavyweight will go back to Raw. So, those are just my thoughts. Don't forget to watch my highlight and tribute videos on the channel. Subscribe, comment, rate. I.